What's going on guys, it's Dum Dum here, and once again I fucked up the audio, so <laughs> welcome back to F1 2018 career mode. We're here for Hockenheim and all three of our upgrades have completed. Something's clearly wrong here, as none of the upgrades have failed, which they usually do, but that's boosted up in front of uh, Renault, basically meaning that uh, Ferrari's next, I guess? Maybe Red Bull Mercedes as well, maybe? At the end of the season, we will have the best car if we keep up this pace of uh, upgrading. Uh, but yeah, we just buy another um, engine upgrade. We really do need to focus on engine power quite a lot. But yeah, you know what? Let's just get straight into qualifying here, going for our first lap of qualifying. I don't know why I made that so intense, but I did. Here we go, crossing the finish line to go fourth at the current moment with, um, what's it called? Uh, purple sector 3 but we make a mistake here on our second lap so we choose to go in and uh, I don't improve any other time so uh, this is the time we ended up with a 112.6 putting us P8 uh, Daniel Ricciardo got pole as we can see here Stoff Van Dorn P15 the gap in time is not big from me to Stoffel it's just very tight with a lot of people right here which is it's good to see it's good to see the midfield being tight but you know what, let's get straight into the race actually. Welcome here to the Hockenheim circuit in Germany, southern Germany, so southern, midden, midden, ah, Germany somewhere. Here we have the starting grid, Ricardo Pohl, Hamilton second and Sebastian Vettel third. Uh, coming down, we're in eighth, our rival Kevin Magnussen P12, teammate Stoffel Van Dorn P15 and uh, Sergei Rockin in last. Surprise, surprise. But here we go for the five red lights, they're counting, we are going on a one stop, but it's five red lights and lights out and away we go for the German Grand Prix, everyone gets a better start off the line uh, as usual. Going into the first corner here, cut it a little bit but it's fine, it's illegal, uh, no um, real contact, no space for us here either, but we have to dive up the inside, we do find space, now I uh, just have a replay, look at the throttle here. We go off, go on the brakes and zoom onto the throttle quickly just to get that little extra bit of speed as we then slam onto the throttle and go out of the corner. Uh, so yeah, we make a little bit of mistake right after that though, uh, not too good, so Ocon can get us back, but I do believe we gained three positions with that overtake up the inside there. Maybe two I think it was, but now we're losing two to Ocon and Araikonen, if we cannot get it up the inside here we do go a little bit deep in there, forcing Ocon wide as well, who loses to Kimi Raikkonen, which might go back to bite us in the arse, as Raikkonen does have a very fast car, proven here, with his Ferrari engine against our Renault engine, uh, and also DRS, and probably rich in a high ERS mode as well. We don't uh, want to go for an overtake, we do kind of touch a little bit, no damage, luckily. We have a yellow flag here, as that's someone retiring, just as we're going to the pits, that is Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton's out of the race, one of the leaders of the race, a potential winner as we pit, putting us last, P19 out of 19. Uh, we did pit one lap earlier than basically everyone else here coming around for the first round of pit stops for everyone here. That puts us from 19th to 12th, right in front of our teammate. Stoff Van Dorn, who looks like he's gained positions off the pit stop. As we now go in, or the, the others go in, and we go past everyone, looks like there's a Ferrari in the pits here. That's Kimi Raikkonen. We rejoin track ahead of him. We have a faster strategy than Kimi Raikkonen here, but he is looking like he wants to get back at us. He's going very strong. And, uh, yeah, he is past there. We're not going to go for any moves on him, as that would just be stupider be a waste of time really for us both uh, for Raikkonen and for us but we do have immense speed on him here so we might not have any choice I mean look at the speed difference well we don't know how fast he's going but we know we're going bloody fast and we just completely missed the braking zone and then he's still there on our inside so we can't even go back on track I have to stay on the curb and then lose to him which you know is fine but now Max Verstappen quite feisty here diving up the in uh, up the outside and somehow still staying on us, even though we go very late on the brakes. This proves that the uh, Codemasters have done a great job at uh, customizing the different driver's uh, drive style. As we try up the inside here, but he still sticks on the outside. It looks like we've just might have gotten him past it. We've done a little bit of a squeeze there. So let him go away, but mere seconds later here, 
coming into the um, wide hairpin would take way too much curb and the spin master returns losing to Verstappen, Perez, Hulkenberg and uh, let's see it's just I just noticed there on the map Ocon coming around, I was really closer that was quite dangerous for me I must admit but uh, a few laps later we're already on the tail of Esteban Ocon, we want to go for a dive here but uh, he kind of goes into our line in the braking zone which I wasn't too fond of, no damage as you could quickly see there but we do get past him and so all of a sudden with only two laps remaining we are overtaking Nico Hulkenberg or at least trying to here we should have a good run on him here with um, almost no fuel in the tank and uh, almost no ERS in the tank uh, but yeah DRS, slipstream everything, he's does he does have DRS as well, but we go for a dive up the inside. What can we do? We can smash into the arse of Sergio Perez. Not good. Again, no damage, but a warning. Uh, as he goes very defensive on the inside line. I've never seen the AI drive like that. We try to switch back on him, which kind of works. Didn't look like it was going to work until Perez just pulled off. Maybe this was planned so he could get that really good run on us right there. To put us into P7. Looks like Nico Hulkenberg. Looking at the proximity, oh, that's Ericsson with the puncture. Maybe Nico Hulkenberg wants to do something he can't really as we go up the inside of Sergio Perez there to go P6. And actually, we're going to finish P6. So, um, yeah, we started P8. Uh, spun after an, a relatively early pit stop compared to the others, I must say. Uh, we spin and then end up finishing two positions higher up than our initial starting positions. That's good. The podium um, being Ricardo, Bottas and uh, Sebastian Vettel there. I believe that's not the first uh, win from Red Bull this season. Yeah, it's not. I could say one in Austria as well. That's also right. Roy? Yeah, okay. Ricardo, we finished 6th. Stoffel finished 11th, meaning he moved up from 15th to 11th. That's really good from him. Just one position one, he would have had points as well. For some reason I decided, oh never mind, I did decide to go down to the bottom. As you see there, Marcus Ericsson last with his puncture, and that's not counting Hamilton who DNF'd. We're still 7th in the championship, Nico Hulkenberg moves up after a strong weekend there. Uh, let's see, Kevin Magnussen still right up our tail. Well, he's not really, he's 30 points behind us. He'll have to start scoring points soon to catch up. Uh, but yeah, that was um, it for that episode. Um, yeah, it was uh, quite an exciting race this one. Again, spinny spin spin. And also, sorry this episode didn't come out yesterday, I had some trouble with the internet. But um, I am going to see if I can get an episode out this weekend for you uh, to make up for that. So uh, yeah, I uh, love you all. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. And I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.